Hi guys, this is Bruce and the number one question I get is what is my favorite game? I'm a board game organizer. I run a whole bunch of different meetups and different groups and organize events and I always have a ton of fun. So it's kind of hard to answer what my favorite game is, but I was thinking about it. If I go by the number, the, the game that I played the most, well then this is it. Cockroach Poker Royale. By the way, there's two versions of this game, Cockroach Poker and Cockroach Poker Royale. I recommend the Royale version, and I'm not even gonna go into why, I'm just gonna tell you that it's better. Uh, it has more going on. And the recommended, or the play count says it's from two to six players. Okay, four players, five or six. That's the best play count, you gotta trust me. I've played this game somewhere between 100 to 150 times over the years. I've shown it to so many people. It's a hit every single time. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing on how it plays. By the way, here's my actual copy that I use. This one is super worn, check it out. It is um, the German title, Cocker Lock and Poker, but it's, um, it's got English rules. It's the same game. By the way, the, the term poker really just refers to the fact that it's bluffing. In fact, it's, it's pure bluffing in a box. That's how awesome this game is. This game has so many laughs and giggles when you first start to play. The tension is instant, it's just amazing. So I'll give you a quick overview. There's different pests on here, there's seven of them. There's this one's a um, scorpion. I tell people ignore the art there, just go by the corners. So that's easier to determine sometimes. This is a cockroach, that's a rat, and there's, there's uh, seven of them all together, seven different kinds. So the object of the game is Actually, let me go back and say there is no winner. What? There's no winner, but there's one loser. So the object of the game is not to lose, literally not to lose. And so it's super fun. So you have cards in your hand, and then as a penalty, you're gonna get stuck with cards in front of you. This is your tableau. And you're gonna get stuck over the course of the game with cards in front of you. This is how you lose cards in front of you. This, these cards are bad. So this is kind of a, a reverse set collecting game. Normally you want to collect sets to win. Here when you collect stuff in front of you, you lose. Cards in your hand to play with, cards in front of you are potentially a game ending situation. So the rules say if you collect four of the same kind of animal or pest, so in this case, here's three different kinds of um, rats, uh, if I get a fourth one, I lose, game's over. But I also play with an added condition, and this, this makes the game nice and snappy. So let's just say I got three stink bugs, three uh, rats, and, and two other. So now I have at least one cockroach, one scorpion, one rat, and at least one stink bug, that's four. If I get a fifth type of animal out of the possible seven, game's over. So I play with, Whatever, whichever win condition happens first. Four of the same or five unique. In this case right now I have four unique. Okay, stink bug, I have uh, the rat, scorpion, and a uh, cockroach. If I take another kind, let's say I take a fly, I lose, I've got five now. Or if I take another rat or a stink bug, here's another stink bug, boom, I'm out, I lose. So. That's my win condition, why? It, it makes the game snappier. It changes the game from a longer game to eight to 15 minutes. It's a super awesome, fun game. Let me give you a quick example of one turn, or at least part of a turn. This is where the fun happens, this is where the bluffing, this is the magic of, the, of this game. So this is a cockroach, and you can tell by the corner piece over there, I ignore the art in the middle. Sometimes it's apparent, sometimes it's not. I've looked at this card, and I know it's a cockroach, and let's say there's five players here. What I do is I put, I put this face down on the table and I slide it in front of another player. I pick a player and I slide it in front of them and I make a claim about that card. I say, this card is a, a fly. So now they have two choices. They can look and pass or call my bluff. So let me, let me explain what those are. If they look and pass, it's what it says. They look at the card secretly so I know it's a cockroach, they know it's a cockroach, and now they must pass it to somebody who hasn't seen the card and make a claim about that card. They can say, yes, Bruce was telling the truth, it's a 
they can keep the lie going. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fly, or they can say, no, he's lying, it's a cockroach, or make up a new lie. It, it's a, it's a uh, scorpion or something like that. But rewind. What they can do before they look and pass is the other choice. They can call my bluff. So I've, I've know, you guys know that this is a cockroach. I know it's a cockroach, but I've said it's a fly. So I pass it right in front of them as a fly. So they can say that I'm telling the truth or that I'm lying and then flip it over and see who's right. Whoever's wrong gets the card. And I'll give you an example. So let's say they say, Bruce, you know what? You look like you have an honest face. I believe you that it's a fly. First of all, bad mistake in believing me. Um, and we flip over the card and they thought I was telling the truth. So they're wrong. So as a penalty, this goes face up in front of them. And now they start the next turn by playing a card from their hand, targeting somebody and so on. But let's go through the other choice. Let's say I had this cockroach. I said it was a fly. I put it in front of them and they say, Bruce, you're a liar. I can see it in your face, you're lying. And they flip it over and lo and behold, they catch me in a lie. So now as a penalty, it goes in front of me and now I have to choose a new card from my hand and target somebody else. And that's how the game goes on. So on your turn, you just have two choices, look and pass or call someone's bluff. Oh my God, the amount of game in this simple little uh, box is, is just astounding. It is so much fun. It's a hit every single time I bring it to the table. Um, I'm gonna show you one last thing in here. I keep this in the bottom of the box. There are two special cards. Um, here they are. I never use them. They're, they, they're not needed. They're just uh, the regular gameplay is sufficient. It is, is super fun every single time. And I can't recommend this game enough. It is Cockroach Poker Royale. My name is Bruce. Go play more games.